Previously on Divorce Court. She feels like I'm responsible for her decision that she made. And ever since then, it's like she plays us against each other. Court is back in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toler presiding. So I have here before me Lasagna McLean and Danye Lanier. The two of you have been in a difficult relationship for 21 years, married for six of them. You have a daughter between the two of you who, with whom you don't get along. Uh, and I would like to address her right now about the issues between the two of you because you say she pits you against her father, Mr. Lanier. So if I could have Yela... Hello, Yela. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. How are you? Just fine. Turn around. I want to take a look at your daughter. I got your mom and dad here, and um, they say that you don't get along with your mom. What do you think the issue is? I think the issue is every time she gets into it with my father, she brings it out on me, and I try to, like, you know, get, a like, a relationship with my mom, but it just seemed like she really don't care about me. Like, the stuff that she say to me, like, saying, like, I need to be married to my father, calling me all type of B-words, kicking me out at 16, I just feel like that just pushed the limit. And, like, as she stated about the pregnancy, I did not want to make that choice. She said, I'm supposed to make that choice. She, I feel like she she made me make the choice that I, that I made. She bought me an iPhone for me to get an abortion. My father, he didn't... He was, he was mad, but he didn't say that he was going to um, go to the police about it and do all that. My mom made that decision, and they came together to see if that was a, a, a great thing that I should do. So I don't feel like I... I just feel like I was peer pressure into that situation. And then she I don't like how she tried to make it seem like um, I told um, my father... Well, I told her that... I got my daddy got some girl pregnant. My father told her her himself that um, he got someone pregnant. So I don't know where she got that from. The only thing that I show her is a video of the girl um, grabbing my daddy up out, out the store. That's the only thing I show her and said that he got her he got her hair done. That's the only thing I said. Mm. So I didn't go back and tell nothing about him getting some girl pregnant. Okay, Yala, your father said that you felt that. Your mom treated you differently than your half brothers and sisters. Is that true? As yes, you were growing up, my daddy was incarcerated. Right. Yes. Why don't you tell me why you felt when that dad, way? I felt that way because when my daddy was in jail, it's always it was always like a I can just feel like the animosity. Like she'll just she'll take their side before my side, or she'll try like today, like. She'll help my sisters. She'll help my brothers. She'll help them with anything. If I ask my mama for $20, she'll say she don't have cash. She got credit card and come to come get it or something like that. And then if I try to come get it, it'll always be, oh, she, or she'll try to, you know what? She'll try to get a tool with me so she won't have to give me anything. And she, like my mama. But I just said I was going like to furnish your plan. house right. I just said I will furnish your house right. Oh, baby, got it. She ain't, she, she good. But I, but she I, doing good. But, you ain't never told her that. To, don't tell me she what I told her. Listen, you know, listen. I, I told listen. you I would buy your furniture, Yayla. Did she say you, that, Yayla? You, you, yeah, and you yes, said, said I don't want you to sudden, do that. Exactly, and I said that because every time I ask you to do something for me, you always throw it in my face when you're mad at my father. Did so I buy you an iPhone? I Did I buy you an iWatch? Did I do anything? Yayla, I do everything for you. You did. I love you all bought, y'all. You bought me that. <laughs> no, this is a front, like, and that's why my feelings is like, and I and say, you love like, it. He entertained she, she this. Fake fake. Love. I'm not doing this. I'm because not doing this. Because it's true, mama. It's true. It's true. It's true. Like, how you treat us is not fair at all. And we be trying to... When I tell you, just we try to be there for my mama. We try to talk to my mama. She just yell at us. She just I'm an do the most. And she I'm makes an us ATM. not want That's what I feel like. Yeah, like, I'm an ATM. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, like, I'm trying to buy yeah, them. That's the problem. Yeah, like, let, let, me, let, let me ask you this, Yayla. Like, and he gets off on that. Look at him. He looks like a clown. It's real. I cannot That's do That's my him. baby right there. It's even, real. We don't, I'm, I'm done. Yayla, yeah, like, yeah, well, let want. me ask you this. 
You was a clown. There were good things between you and your mom. They weren't all bad, right? I mean, you do acknowledge that good, she cares the, for you. Yes. Well, the things she say makes yeah, yes. You came to my rescue. Did you or did you not come to my rescue? When I got no into it with him and I could not do what I yes, needed to I'm do. You came to me. You, I needed you. I reached out to you. You came when y'all wasn't talking. Remember that? Just about a week ago. Yes, I you, lost money yes, behind that. Yes, Remember I, that? Now y'all back together. Now it's X can't. me out. And it's always like that. No, it's and I'm not, tired of it. You always you choose him over me, Ayla. And hang on, let it oh, Hang it on, yes, Yala. Yes, y'all. It seems like, it just seems like when me and my father is like back talking and I try to get a relationship with my, my mom, it seems like she jealous of how close me and my father is. That's not my problem that she got some type of animosity because how me and my father is. Me and my father is close for a reason. When she wasn't there for me, when my father was there for me, that that's not my problem. I can't help the way that I feel about you know, me and my mom relationship and me and my father, me and my father, like, I mean, my mom, yeah, she, you know, birthed me, you know, she paid for everything, but that doesn't really, that matters, but it really don't matter. It's about who showed love to me when I need the love, you know? Okay. Mr. Lanier, you want to say something? Because um, a lot of that, too, becomes where she left you when you were young, right? When she came to Atlanta. So to what? be with to make and a do whatever life. she did. I didn't come here to be with nobody. You, I came she here left to all her kids. a better life. And sometimes you have to make a, a hard call. Especially when you ain't got no good support. Right. And, and I, I left fine. because you was and cheating. Was so that was a whole other reason I came here. Because he was cheating. And I got tired of it. Do you have anything you can say that you would make it better? We want this relationship Thanks. to be better. the kids with you. No, her father. My mom no she left with her mom. I went home. and got mine. Oh, I see what you're saying. You understand what I'm saying? Let me allow you to do this, Ms. McClain. Why don't you explain the pressures you were under at the time? People do it things. It wasn't about pressure. I'm, I, I love, I'm very outgoing, mm -hmm. okay? I love money. I, I'm educated. I love all of that. I came here to visit. I have friends here. I have family I here in Atlanta. I was I li I literally came here to make a better life for myself and my kids. That's my what I'm saying. My mother was supportive. She kept my kids for a couple of months until Perfect. I got everything situated and I came back and got my kids. No, she didn't want to no come. Couple of they months. didn't want Yayla to come. It was Yayla four years, come. three, four years, right? It was a lie. Am I, I lying? My kids was living here I mean, with me. It was, it was around that time. It three, was four years. Why would I leave? Was, I didn't leave my kids. She came back after to, three years to come get a man. It was you for left a him with your mother. Your mother. Yeah, you did. Mama, yes, you. you it was for a couple years because you come was on. in Atlanta trying to get your other daycare running. So, it was three well, years. Yeah, well, let me ask and you this was, question, and and, and, you have to, and you have to understand that the pressures that she was under. It, you know, it's difficult trying to make it. If she was trying to put a daycare together to get money to support all of you kids, sometimes right, right, you John. can't be there. You know what I mean? Sometimes you have to make a, a hard call. Especially when you ain't got no good support. Right. And, and I, I left fine. because you was and cheating. Was so that was a that. whole other reason I came here because he was cheating and I got tired of it. Do you want your daughter and your and, and your and your soon to be ex-wife to right. have a decent relationship? That's her mother. Yeah. So do you think you have any right. role to play in allowing their relationship to become closer and better? Why would he as discuss opposed to making our business it worse? with a child? That's what I'm saying. Let, let, I'm trying to work on your I'm behalf child, here. I'm Allow me to do I'm so. Sorry. Mr. Lanier, what? She said she's grown. Huh? She said she's grown. No, she's that's grown. my baby. She said she's grown. She's not a child. She's grown. That was her. She keep she keep recognizing me as a child. I'm 20 years old. I'm very mature than what they yeah, got. Yeah, but she's here, but she's so. just saying you're always a you're but always I'm my child. To her I was my mother's child until anybody. she died, and I was 57 years old. I was still her child. You know what I'm saying? I was 57, quite grown. But how she, folk a jail, you know? How she's saying is she she's trying to say she's trying to be funny with it. That's why I said that. Mm -hmm. How am I trying to be funny? <laughs> See what I'm saying? I'm not doing that. Um. And he what do you have to say, Miss Lynn? Do you have anything you can say that you would make it better? We want this relationship Baby. to be better. 
Look, mm. you, you see me, you know I love you. you yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm proud mama, of you. And you I'm doing jealous. real let me, good. Let me, let, me, let me talk. I told okay. her the same thing, so you ain't saying nothing. But I need you to, you and your mama, y all, y all, you. Yala, Yala, what did you want to say? When he Stop. fall out with one, he goes to the other. Yala, like, speak. Go ahead. Yala. I just feel, I just feel like I told my father, like, I want my mom and my dad to be together, but it doesn't make sense if y'all gonna be together. Why do y'all keep arguing? Like I told my father, cheater. if you want a relationship, you need to stop drinking. You he need to cheater. try to get in a rehab. Y'all both need to stop drinking. Uh -oh. Because at the end of the day, that's and not that's real. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. There you go. You control that's him. You. That's his wife. Like I said. That's my baby. What's wrong with me saying that's that? You. There's a lot What's wrong, wrong with you saying, saying that. that. There's a, a lot. lot wrong with that. There's a lot wrong with that. It, it, it just is. You know, she's she's young, but she's a kid. Still, but they have and conversations. If I have a relation, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but if I have a conversation, no, you're not sorry. With my you're not sorry at all. I know I have a problem. I don't have a problem. With it. That's denial. I don't have. I'm I've not denial. denial. Okay. When you're Look, not around. I've been through the programs. Mm -hmm. That's denial. Right. But and you, I'm gonna stop right there, and we're gonna. You know, okay. I could go two, three days without having a Do you a guys glass of ever worry about the way you conduct business in front of your daughter? I know she's an he adult, don't. but the fact that she's your daughter and she's young and you guys conduct business like this, don't you, doesn't that concern they don't, they you? Don't, they don't care. They don't care. They do it in front of my little brothers. And like I taught them, I don't want my little no, brothers to be No, we don't. You have not been around. Well, and way. I stopped yeah. doing that. Y'all argue. Like, I stopped. Mama, let your daughter finish. You're concerned about how they behave in front of your 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 siblings? Mm hmm Yeah, that's why you're right. not at the house. Right, like they get into Just a little like argument. The barbecue. I don't care about being at the house. Who? Not at the house, because I got I'm my own I'm not talking about you. Am I Baby. I'm talking about him while oh. he's steady you, trying to attack me. The barbecue. Me. We were just talking about the at the barbecue. I'm not what got you. I'm just back to your girl. I'm trying to get back to I'm trying to get back to my girl. No, we're talking about the what, bar. Can we can we can we stop talking about each other long enough to hear her? So yeah, maybe I'm, then I'm we right. can heal the relationship yeah. a little bit. And I just bit. feel like, but I want to elaborate on. Stop. I just feel like, Daddy, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> mm. She controlled got him. You. That's his wife. Like I said, that's my baby. What's wrong with me saying got that? You. There's a lot wrong with you saying that. There's a lot wrong with that. There's a lot wrong with that. It, it, it just is. You know, she's she's young, but she's a kid. Still, but they have and conversations. If I have a relation, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but if I have a conversation, no, you're not sorry. With my... You're not sorry at all. <laughs> you just gave lip service to it. <laughs> you're not sorry at all. My concern is this: you still got kids. She's still a she's still a person, and it affects you the way your parents deal not only with you but with each other. And my question is, can we get off the hurt? We know he hurt you. We know he was a cheating somebody. We know he's just allowed some, something over there and causes a lot of trouble, and I get all of that. But I'm saying, don't we love her more than we hate one another? That's what I'm asking. You know what I'm saying? Do you? I hear you. But you don't feel it. I don't feel it. <laughs> because? I don't feel the love from her. And like I said, when, when they on good terms, I'm always <laughs> X'd out. But when me and her on good terms, that's, because that's you when I feel the love. Out. You try to get into... You just invited him to bowl and not me. And we I didn't do nothing to you. But I'm not finna, but, I'm but not finna compete with no kid. But, but, but you know, that's not very important bowling. It is to me. It's the little things. It is to me. And Yayla know what I'm talking about. But we know what I'm talking but about. But when you're a mother, you have you you it, it's not tit for tat. You go beyond and beyond because that's your kid. My, my kids can, can do me wrong and do me wrong and prefer their father and prefer their father. I keep coming correct because they're my kids. I never say to them, now you're wrong. Do you see what I'm saying? Let this be the last day that you people pull out some pain from the past that you've caused each other over these 21 years. We know that there's been hate and hurt and anger and dis 
you know, and despair amongst you. Let this be the last day you pull that out in front of her. Let this be the last day that you go through it to that. hurt each do, other. I can do that for her. Do, did you understand? Both of you. Lighten up your hearts and you don't have to be all dark with the memories of him in it. You know what I mean? What are you going to get with that? You Nowhere. know he was a cheater. Yeah. You know he's not going to do right. right. You know there's too much drinking going on. You know that you have a relationship to repair with your daughter. Right. So if you're fighting with him, the repairing this relationship, he shouldn't even be an asterisk. We've got one more person that I want you to talk to. Her name is Dr. Janet, and she's going to help start the process that I just told you about. Dr. Janet, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good. Have you been watching? I've been watching. Man, it's making my head spin. Do you, do you have any words of wisdom? There's a saying that hurt people hurt people, mm. and all of you are hurt. All of us is hurt. Yes, yes. yes. As Judge Toller said, Judge Lynn said, you've got to stop hurting each other, stop bringing up the past, and decide how you want things for you to be for all of you from day one. And that means no drinking, talking to each other and stop bringing up the past and deciding three rules that can help each of you have better decisions as a family and communicate. Three rules. Thank you very much, Dr. Janet. I appreciate that. And I appreciate you staying on board, Yela. Did you, did you get anything out of that, Yela? Do you agree? Yes, at least? I got a lot of, out of that. Good. I want to wish you the best. And I, I don't believe that there's ever a time where you cannot repair a relationship with your daughter. And I don't think yours is that far gone. It's not. I really don't. I think she loves you. I think she's been caught in the middle. But I think if you give it time and just X him out of the equation, don't wonder about when he talks to her, when he sees her, what they do together. The relationship is between one intelligent uh, woman with depth and breadth to another intelligent woman with depth and breadth. And you have enough going on and enough to talk about that you two can support and hold each other up and comfort each other and love each other, irrespective of whatever relationship she has with him. Mr. Lanier, I wish you this very same thing. Uh -huh. I wish you peace and progress. I wish you Alcoholics Anonymous. I wish you everything <laughs> that could ever go well in your life. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Yes, ma'am, and I, I, I sincerely believe you. Yeah, and I since it, it matters to me, and I hope it gets better from today forward. This matter is adjourned. Gentlemen. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Lasagna, this is, I'm G. Nice to meet you. <laughs> this is my partner. I'm Jason. Yeah, so um, we heard, we watched, and we know right now it's a, like you said, it's a very troubling time for you, but you making a conscious decision to take the next step for yourself is just what we want to help you do as well. All right, so it's about shedding layers right now and taking yourself to another to another space, another mind space, because your body's not going to go where your mom won't let it. You see what I'm saying? So we have an online fitness program, x28fitness.com, and also we have a gym here in Atlanta. So if you're ever in Atlanta, or when you are in Atlanta, you can work out with the both of us. Cool. All right, we're going to keep you accountable. Listen, we're going to keep you accountable. All right? We're going to make sure that you shed those layers and start your new life. Judge, today's case is caught up. Caught up, that's exactly what this young lady is. Caught up with a man who shows her no love and no care. Caught up is what a lot of women are. Make sure it isn't you. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Abril, Sincere, Ellis, and Mark Hill. The two of you have been together for five years, but you don't want to be together anymore. Ms. Ellis, you are suing Mr. Hill for $500 for damage you caused to your own car. So we're going to get to that momentarily, but before we do, Ms. Ellis, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about this relationship and why we're here today? 
Well, Your Honor, I'm here today because I'm in love with a man who blatantly disrespects me, cheats on me, and lies to me. Um, let me tell you, so one day we went out to dinner, mm -hmm. and it was a good night, you know what I'm saying? Good night, we come home, you know, have sex and everything. In the middle of sex, his phone rings. And I'm like, I know you're not about to answer that phone. So he gets up, he goes in the closet, turns like this, and shifts me as if I'm his side chick. And then he gonna come back to the bed, like, it's all good, five minutes later, like, we about to still have sex. No, we're not. We're not doing none of that. <laughs> Mr. So, Hill, did, did you do that? I, I did do it, Your Honor. I ain't even gonna lie, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, and walk me through that. And what happened was, <laughs> she's right. We, had, we was having sex and my phone rung. And when it rung, I picked up the phone. I went and excused myself from the bedroom and had a conversation. The ladies I have a conversation with was an older lady I used to, I messed with, one of my clients. She helped pay some of the bills and I wasn't trying to, you know, you know, get that not, bills not paid. Yeah. I already told you about it, but, you know. But in the middle of sex, you could have called her back 15 minutes or how long, ever long I, I, I it could takes. have, but, you know, I, it, it, hey, I had to woody woo. You know, no, you I, didn't. I had to no, you didn't. It wasn't no, going you down didn't. like that. Tell so. me anything else. T tell me, tell me so another story. I'm going out with my cousin. And he, she was gonna pick me up. His car is in the shop, so he used my car. He said, oh, I'm gonna go out. I don't know what he's gonna do. But he left, and I'm still in the house because my cousin was running late. It was about two hours late, you know, with females. So he comes in the house with a female. And I'm looking, I'm like, what's going on? Oh, this is my cousin. Okay, I've never met his cousin, so I believed him. So I'm just getting dressed, you know, I'm all up on him, kissing him and everything. And then she's like, oh, well, by the way, We've been sleeping together for three months. What? And you in my house, first of all. This, and then you gonna come to me and tell me that y'all been sleeping together for three months. So I asked him and he's like, uh, 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 the, the stupid look. So after all of that, that's how I'm suing him for $500 because he left in my car to take her back home. So I got my back and I bust the windows out my driver's seat window because I was trying to get to him. So after that, I took all his clothes, all his expensive clothes, shoes. I took him to the homeless shelter. So somebody walking around here looking real nice right now. <laughs> all right, so. Uh, uh, Mr. Hill, so, your response? So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a man of my word, and I, yeah, I did. I did do those, those things. And I, I apologize to her multiple times. So, you know, I, I did see the girl as my cousin. I thought she was gonna go along with it, but unfortunately, she didn't. She got her feelings hurt. Can I ask you a question, Mr. Hill? I can, you know, people philander all the time. It's not good, it's not right. But how did you think you could get away with that level of disrespect bringing the side piece right next to the main piece and not think anything would happen? I mean, you ain't that bad. I, oh, my boots were good now. But well, you ain't it, that bad because your windows day. got broken out, so. Well, you know, it's, hey, she came in the house and said, that's my cousin. So she's supposed to go along with it, but she didn't go along with it. So I said, look, let's roll. Was she aware she was the side chick? Oh, she was aware, because I told her But she her. just didn't know her role. She just, she, obviously, feelings came out. So I got in the car, I said, get in the car, let's roll. We, we, we rolling, she, here she come, running out the car. Boom, throw, broke a window. Hey, I shouldn't pay for that, she, that's her car. She, she broke it. Ms. Ellis, anything else to tell me? I know one time I wanted to go to a family cookout. Mm -hmm. And I said, hey, babe, let's go to your family cookout. He's like, no, I don't want to go. Okay, well, you know what? It's the 4th of July. My birthday's on the 2nd. I'm going to my family's cookout. He didn't want to come, so I left. I come home, he's not there. I call him, 12 o'clock, no answer. 1 o'clock, no answer. 2 o'clock, no answer. I tracked his phone. So I drive about 30 minutes out my way to go find him. His car, well, his car at the time was parked outside. So I go knock on the door. I don't know who neighborhood this is. I know he's in this house. So I got real ghetto. Mark, come outside. Come outside, Mark. I know you in the house. I know you in the house. This ain't your house. Why are you answering the door? And when he comes to the door, he had on his boxes and no shirt. So I pushed him in the house and I go in. So it's a female upstairs standing in her panties and bra. Oh, hi, hi. Wait, wait, what? What's going on? He said to me that he had to put her in the bed because she was drunk. <laughs> he said he had to take his clothes off because he had to help her. That don't make sense. What do you mean that you had to take off your clothes to help her? <laughs> Mr. Hill? All right. Your response to uh, that I, would be I'm what? I'm gonna tell you the truth. The girl I bought, you know, it was a little, you know, a little chick I, I, I picked up, you know, and I was like, look, we're going to a cookout. 
just come on, have a good time. I, I didn't want to bring her because she knows her little, you know, she have an attitude all the time. We had a, prior that night we had an argument, so I would definitely not bring her. You know, so I, you know, scoop, you know, woo woo. Hey, you want to come and hang out with me and my, my cousins at the cookout? She came. You know, next thing you know, I you know, went back from went back to the house. It went down a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sierra happened to come and see me and my boxes and stuff like that, but she wasn't supposed to be home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was her fault. Yeah, that's her fault. She, wrong timing. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna get to the point. I, she talk about trust. All right, I got a folder right here. Okay, and I don't, let I don't me believe see. nothing she say. We both got trust issues. Okay, now you explain your trust issues with her to me. The trust issue I got with her is that you should see her Instagram. You can look at the photos, look at the pictures and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, she, I'm a model and all that. She got videos and stuff like that. Look at the screen. You got a video? I got a video. All right, let me see the video. Mm, oh, yeah, you do. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. You see that? You trust your woman like that? You see that? I see, I don't trust. I don't, see the comments in the back? Yeah. Uh, yeah, look at all that. Feet and entertaining. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that she's cheating on you at all? I had my boy that she don't know hit her up on Instagram uh -huh. and write her a message, and she respond back and flirting back and forth, and she sent her number. Uh huh. That was the bait right there. That's all I needed. And what did you do when you found that out? Did oh, you confront her with wow. it? Oh, well, we had a long powwow, have a long conversation. Ms. Ellis, I gotta ask you something. How much sense does it make? for you to tear up your stuff, his stuff, or any stuff because you're angry. In my defense, I can't kill him. Do you ever talk about your infidelities with her? No. <laughs> he goes off subject just like he doing. What this video got to do anything? If I'm only doing the same thing he liked when he first met me. If I talk to her about it, she don't get angry, get mad, mm -hmm. you know, kick me out, don't date my clothes again. Do you feel at all <sighs> insincere and unkind and foul when you have a woman, you say she is your woman, but you keep sleeping with other women? I do. You know, driving to work, you know, I'd be like, dang, I gotta start doing it, being a better man for her. But she needs to start being a better woman than me. In what way? More nurturing. You know, I had a long day at work, come downstairs and comfort me. She don't do things like that no more. You know why, it's right? It's probably my part, though. Because you were trifling somebody. Yeah. And don't nobody yeah. want to take care of a trifling somebody. All right, I I'll take that. And you're right. <laughs> you ain't got no choice but to take it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You say you can't talk to her about anything because she gets emotional. Explain that to me. Oh, she get emotional. She want to hit, break windows, yeah. donate clothes, PlayStation broken. You know, every time she get mad, I'm like, oh, I got to have everything in the house. Mm -hmm. uh, Ms. Ellis, I got to ask you something. How much sense does it make for you to tear up your stuff, his stuff, or any stuff because you're angry? In my defense, I can't kill him. <laughs> so, I break his stuff, oh. and I'm not replacing it. He is. I broke my car windows out. It's cool. It was an old car anyways. Oh, it don't yeah. matter. Yeah. I'm not replacing none of his stuff. He goes out, and he, he dogs me out like I'm a piece of trash. Ms. Ellis, why did you stay with him five years? I mean, he wasn't even close to acting right. He wasn't even trying to do it on a download. He was bringing his side pieces to the crib. I didn't know that. I, I did not know that those were his side pieces. I legit. But once you found out, you broke his car window and then stayed. Because that's all I know. I don't know nobody else. How old are you? 28. <laughs> We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that. I've been with him for five years, and I love him, and I don't, I don't want to start over. I can have a disease for five years, but I still want to get rid of it. I'm used to the disease. I know what it's like. I know the pain that it brings me, but I still want to get cured. You need to get cured of this particular disease. Don't go out there and destroy your community. You need to defend it. 
You cannot defend your community when you're hurting people on an ongoing basis. It is rude, tacky, trifling, and low down, and you have an obligation to people other than yourself and your nether regions. I don't think I'm the only one who sees what I see. Your cousin sent us a tape because she wanted to talk to me. So it's Marquita Briscoe, and she sent me a tape, and I want you to turn around, and we're going to watch it. He's cheated on her more than 20 times. And I would say about maybe twice a month with different people or when he takes her car, because he takes her car often. So when she doesn't have a ride, she calls me. And I'm like, well, where's your vehicle? And she says, well, Mark has it. Where's Mark? He's not answering. You don't answer, you with the female, put two and two together, don't be dumb about it. Pretty much when he takes a car, he's usually going with some female. It's not work. I don't care what type of work he says he does, what clients he's meeting, no. Come on now. And then on top of that, from if we go out, say it's like a group of us and we go have like a double date or just a function, he'll look at other females. You know these things. He's disrespecting you in your face and you're doing nothing but staying. Has it gotten better or worse over the years? Uh, it's gotten worse. Sometimes, like, no lie, I just feel like Fred Sanford, I want to join Elizabeth too. Like, I, I just cannot take it no more. It's just, it's just one thing after the next and... Like I said, I stay with him because I love him, and the sex is good. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> good sex is 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 is, is, is rampant. It's not just him. <laughs> Letting you know. Well, put your business on okay. Facebook. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. I won't talk about the money. I'm doing everything out of order because I got I got my reasons. I'm gonna talk about the money first, then I'm gonna talk to him, and then I'm gonna talk to you. The money, $500. You can't, you can't tag him financially for the foolishness that you do. I don't care whether he was the impetus for the foolishness. I don't care whether he was the reason you got upset or not. But you're responsible for what you do. The way to respond to that kind of crap is to do what I'm about to do. I'm gonna show you in a minute. Don't do what the environment allows you to do. Don't go out into my community and tear up all the women in it. Don't go out there and destroy your community. You need to defend it. You cannot defend your community when you're hurting people on an ongoing basis. It is rude, tacky, trifling, and low down, and you have an obligation to people other than yourself and your nether regions. And if you're not a better man than that, what you need to do is tell the women that you get with that you ain't about nothing, that you ain't right, that you ain't good. And I'm telling you, there's some women out there whose self-esteem is so low, they will still ride with you. I remember one time I was in college, I just guy, I met him, we went out, and he says, I want to tell you something. I'm not about relationships. And I said, cool, thank you. Never saw him again. <laughs> but that's, that's something that you are obligated to do. Mm. But you're foul and you're no good and I want you to get out. Oh. Nick? Oh. There will be no recovery in this matter, so just go. <laughs> that, my lady, is how you treat a man who ain't no good. You put him out. Now, I can only get so tied up in how you feel because you can't make people do right by you, but you can decide how often you let them do you wrong, and you keep letting them do you wrong. You get indignant and upset and hurt and destroyed. He's tearing up your self-esteem. You can't, you, 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 you feel horrible all the time, but you continue to choose to do so. As if he's going to change. Why would he change? You never leave. Women tell me all the time, I don't want to start over. What do you mean? What do you mean it doesn't get any uglier than this? You feel horrible. 
You are never secure. You're never happy. And you continue to choose it because you're too afraid to take that move. I'm going to give you a book. It's called Dear Sonali, Letters to a Daughter I Never Had. I got a whole chapter on how to get rid of a dude and what you should do. You are who you are. You are your mind, your abilities, your effort, your achievements. Having him adds nothing to you other than pain and agony. What for? What for if you don't hear anything else today? He'll never get any better. He will only get worse. Why sign on for that type of hell? And let me tell you something. If you're afraid you just can't get another dude, because I know the market's tight, I get that part. But if you're afraid you'll never get another dude, isn't it better to be happy and whole and, and, and feel good about yourself by yourself than it is to feel low and degraded and unloved with another dude. Not to mention he can give you diseases. It's not a loss. You can be happy on your own. You really can. You do not need a man to define you. A man should be an option, not a definition. You with me? Move on, love on, but hey, hey, he's going to call because he, cause he knows where you're weak. You should, you should delete his number. You should have, you should write on the walls all over your house. He's trifling, no good. Don't take him back. But please, hey, we can get you a tape of the show and I can holler at you every day about what a fool you have been for this particular trifling individual. You understand what I'm telling you? Move on, go on. You are gorgeous. Gorgeous. And you have far more value than he's able to give you. Best of luck to you. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. Sincere. I want to tell you sincerely. <laughs> I know you're hurt. Well, one day you're going to see this is the best thing that ever happened to you. You've been so stuck living in pain. It is fun getting out and be free. You haven't, you, you haven't been left. You're leaving him. Remember that. Hearing what she's saying and, you know, feel kind of embarrassing. I'm be a better man. Obviously, she says she won't be no more, so I'm gonna go ahead and pack my things and get out. Judge, today's case is in and out. I have a couple here who have been through hell and back. What I'm trying to do is make sure they don't end up there again. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Cynthia Powers and Willard Powers. The two of you have been together 12 years. Married 12 months, divorced 11 months, then engaged for a year. <laughs> Mr. Powers, you are suing Mrs. Powers for $500, which is the cost of a tow truck that uh, after a certain experience occurred, and we will talk about that momentarily. Before we get to that, Mr. Powers, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your marriage and why we're here in divorce court today? Well, Your Honor, love can only take you so far. You need honesty and trust in relationship, which we don't have much of, if any. Uh, for instance, uh, you give her $150 to go pay the bills, she'll pay 100 do something else with 50 and I don't even know about it until the lights go out or you get a notice to shut off. Uh, another one, get a call from a random guy about a, an ad on Craigslist. I don't know if he ran it or she ran it, uh -huh. but uh, she answered it, whatever. And uh, he sent me some pictures. She's in provocative clothing and provocative positions. I mean, what kind of cleaning service do you do something like that at? 
It was not. It was. It was his. It was his ad. I responded to an ad. Okay. He had. Okay. And what happened? You responded to an ad. Yeah, we was hard up for money, Your Honor. And, right. And you know, and I just wanted, you know, no, no money was coming in from anywhere. So, I, I he had an ad on Craigslist, and he did a housekeeper or something. So I, I. Uh, you know, responded to it and, you know, just to try to get money from him, just try to hustle him pretty much, you know what I mean? And just never see the man. I was going to try to get into Western Union, me some money and, you know, just not see him again or whatever. Just, you know, I mean, just, just anything I had to do, you know, to, to take care of this. But it didn't work out that way. He wanted to meet me and I shut it down. I blocked him. I just ended it and I went home and I... Well, how did you initiate the hustle? You answered the ad, but did you well, answer I, the ad with, yeah, pro, I, with I, pictures and in provocative clothing? Well, he asked to see pictures. There was no provocative clothing. There was just a picture of me, just, you know what I mean, maybe just smiling, kind of sexy or whatever, but there's no provocative What did you have? Why did you think he would send you money? Because I've, I've you know, I've, I've had men send me money before, you know, a Western Union me money before, you know what I mean, without having to do anything, you know what I mean? But that was back when I was on drugs, mm -hmm. you know, back and I'm not on drugs anymore, you know, but that, you know, that was just how that went. Oh, okay. You know, and... Do you, do you go off with $150? That was my money. We was fighting at the time. And that was my paycheck, and I was tired of him just never giving me anything, and I was leaving anyway. I couldn't leave with no car, no money, no house, so I had to leave with something. So you took the fifth. It was my money anyways. I was the one that was working. Okay. You said you've had to sleep with your car keys hidden under your mattress. Explain that to me. If you don't hide your car keys, you'll you wake up or whatever, car be gone, she'll be gone. She took it left <laughs> before. She, for instance, going to the store one morning. Nothing wrong, no fighting. Going to get a pack of cigarettes, some oh, biscuits to make breakfast. Yeah. 30 minutes goes by, she's not home. I finally call her. She's halfway to Cincinnati. <laughs> Don't know why. Yeah, with my she car. That was phone. my car. Did well, why why'd you why'd you because go to Cincinnati? He was so controlling. He wants to just run everything, you know what I mean? Just uh, get, don't give me no money. Don't do nothing. You know, when I when we are trying to work things out. And that was my car. I went to school, you know, and got my my school money, and I finally bought that car for me. You know, he knew that I was proud of myself because he, con he controls everything, and I put it in his name for trust, you know, because I figured I could trust him, and, and he took it from me. You know, and that, you know, we was we was getting along, and I thought, no, I'm leaving, so I took my car and left, but, you know, I knew it was in his name, so I had to bring it back. Okay, what about the pickup truck? You took and done the same thing? Yeah, that was years ago, back when, we was on when I was on drugs. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. One time you said you checked her on Google Maps and she was she was supposed to be at work and she was 50 miles away at a truck stop. It says she's playing the gambling machines. I don't know if she's playing gambling machines or what was going on, but I hate doing that. But if I don't, it's too late. He, you give her an hour, he, it's too late. She's already 200 miles away. You know, just like went out. So you got to you got to jump on it real quick. Fast, you know. <laughs> we put up one day. She I left, come back. I go in the house. She done took one of my guns and left with it. Yeah, after you took, took my car. Took the gun and left with it. You know, he, like, you know, he slept with my, a family member of mine two times, moved her in two times when I was away. Mr. Powers, did you sleep with a family member? Yes, I did. I did provoke it. And every time she gets locked up or disappears, her friends or yeah, but you whatever don't they show up at my door. They I'm know the she's gone. They're trying to take They're her place. They're because I'm the one that always got the money, the house, the cars, you know, somebody to sponge off of. And yes, I did it. I'm a man. Sorry. <laughs> well, how long had she been gone? You know what that was How long had she been gone before you did that? Oh, months. She was probably locked up. Oh, you don't know where she was. Don't know. Probably locked I up. I was locked up. Yeah, you knew right where I was because you blocked me when I was in jail. You blocked me, you know, because I told you I knew she was there. Wow. You know? Yeah. <laughs> It's just always something, and I forget him because I love him. I love him, and I just get through it, and I know I've done things to him, and I know. And I hate that I've done those things, you know, but I'm just trying to be, but I shouldn't have to relive them every day, every single day. You say day. he never forgives you, never, never lets never it go. He never trusts me or anything, and I'm, a, I'm good to him. I take, I cook, I clean, I try to be a good woman to him just to be a good woman, and it's just never enough. You know, I try to let him know where I'm at here recently. I let him know, and it's just not enough. Mr. This is not. Mr. Powers. And I don't know what to do, and I don't want to leave again. Okay. Mr. Powers, you said here in your paperwork that you heard through the grapevine, I guess, that she's been involved with other men, but since your relationship has been so up and down, you just like, what the heck, you don't even give it any credence. Don't really want to know, for real, because I'd probably hurt her and end up in jail. But, you know, on her behalf, she, she, is a, she keeps a great house. She works her butt off at the house. 
But for some reason, I can't get her to go out and get a job now. She refuses to. She's been eight months I, trying to get a job. I start a job can't get one. <laughs> you know, my background. <laughs> yeah, you probably have yeah, issues have with your background. I have a lot of trouble with my background, and I'm tired of cleaning hotel rooms, and I'm tired of serving in restaurants. He always wants me to serve in a restaurant. I'm tired of it. I just want to do something they make better. Pretty, they make pretty good money. They do, yeah, but I just well, I want to do something different. I do. Some days you don't make good money, though, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Then I get accused of blowing money because if I don't bring a certain them out home. Mm -hmm. But you found a job and you're starting on Monday? Yes, and I, you know, it's, it's making good money in a little cubicle, you know, I mean, it's a little telemarketing, but it's, it's something yeah. different, you know, good benefits. And right. you know, I'm just proud of myself. And, you know, he's been real supportive. But I just wish that he would just trust me more and just mm -hmm. stop with it. Now, you know you got to be all calm on the phone because people are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You want to sell something. You got to be relaxed. You can't I, get upset. You can't, you can't be jittery. I know. None of that. You, 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 yeah. you, you, you got it? Yeah, I mean, I know you're talking about something very emotional here. You're talking about your marriage. Yeah. You're talking about money. You're talking about leaving, loving, drugs, all of that. And I get that you're emotional. I just... I I love him, though. I don't want to leave. And that's the thing, all the craziness. I love him. It was 30 degrees outside and raining. She comes to my house at 3 in the morning. I, I told her, come in, keep your mouth closed, get something to eat, get on the couch, go to sleep. When it gets daylight, get up, get out. <laughs>12 years, Mr. Powers. You seem tired and exhausted, but resigned. What, where are you with that? You know, like I, I love her too. That's why I've put up with more than I would with anybody else. Uh, she is a good woman. I know she can be. She just refuses to be. And we do have a very checkered past, both of us. And it's hard to forget things that she's done. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to give her the benefit of a doubt, but I'm scared to. You know what I mean? You give her an inch, take a mile. Right. You When's know, I'm the not last time she took a mile when you gave her an inch? About six or eight months ago. Six or eight. What happened six or eight months ago? Uh, well, I'm not even sure how it all happened, but she ended up out running around this and that. And you threw me out. And I threw her out for running you and doing this and that. And I wouldn't let her back in the house. <laughs> and I would come three o'clock in the morning banging on the door because it was cold. I didn't want to go, go back away. to the streets. <laughs> Well, what did you do? What did he let me in for a while, but he made me leave again the next day, and I just I didn't want to go back to the city. Your Honor, I didn't, I didn't want, want to her back. freeze to death. It was 30 degrees outside and raining. She comes to my house at three in the morning. I, I told her, come in, keep your mouth closed, get something to eat, get on the couch, go to sleep. When it gets daylight, get up, get out. But I had no. What did to she go. do that got that her kicked out home. to begin with? Yeah, just running, not doing what she's supposed to be. Because you're constantly on me, just constantly running your mouth, just constantly, constantly. Just, you won't let me breathe. And that same thing right there. After she finally did leave Corbin, the town we were in, she ends up up north. Within a week, she's living with some guy. I moved in with him that fast. No, 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 no. Yes, well, you would not let me come home. So you moved you in with somebody? Me, no, no, you wouldn't let me well, come home. Well, you moved a family member in when she was gone on. for a couple of months. <laughs> I, I didn't go look for the for the for a good for the gander. For. Yeah, but you let her in. I wasn't in the wrong house. She wasn't there. We weren't together. But I was she not for a better <laughs> I do. That was wrong, but hey. But she left you, so she moved in with another guy. Right? I mean, same reason. That fast, but while she's living with this other guy, she's contacted me David, no, every day, begging to come home. Me. I finally what? broke down and gave in. Come on, come on. No. Let's try it again. <laughs> no, Let's do he, it again. What do you tell me what happened? He Let's do it again. Seen, <laughs> he seen that I was with somebody because he told me to move on. I wanted to go back home, you know, but I was on an ankle bracelet. You know, me finish out the sentence that I had, okay? But, you know, he wouldn't let me. Then when he see, found that I was with somebody, then he wanted to just blow me up, call that guy's family, tell me I was a piece of crap and all this and that. Don't trust me. I'm going to hurt him like I did him, just trying to ruin it for me. But told me to move on. And then, you know, of course, I love Will. I can't, I, I do. So I keep talking to him every day. And then finally he, he told me to come home. He, and then he came all the way up to Cincinnati and got me. You know, what did, did you expect her to do? If, when you throw her out, what do you expect her to do? Well, I guess that was inevitable she was going to do that, but that fast, that soon, if she knows why she got thrown out, she was in the wrong. I didn't want to do it. She can't, she can't support herself. She ain't got nothing. You know, I mean, she's, why she's can't out she? there. She yeah, but just herself. for a month, you, 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 she, she, it's hard to just to gather them up money for first, last month's rent. You got to have show them that you have a job in order to rent your place. I mean, she did what she had to do. I guess. Yeah.
That ain't a solution. The solution is get a job. She's capable of getting a job. She could have got one month ago. We wouldn't be in this situation. Tell me about the title loan in Tennessee. We're in financial difficulties right now. I mean, we're about to lose our home. But uh, she always wants to tow and get a loan on our car. We can't pay what we owe now. Why go get a loan on the car to pay this bill when we end up losing the car? You know, I've done that twice. We managed to pay it off and keep the car. I save that for the last, very last resort. I may overthink stuff. I don't know. Yeah, so you're upset with her because she proposed a solution that you used successfully twice before, but you're mad because she suggested it again. That ain't a solution. The solution is get a job. She's capable of getting a job. She could have got one month ago. We wouldn't be in this situation. But it just takes I'm signed time. up for disability. I'm, I got a hearing in front of a judge coming. I'm not able to work. We talked about this, that she could carry us to do this. She refused to do Do you think she wasn't trying to get a job? I mean, with the, I've... if she's got criminal history, which she does, and the criminal history has to do with drugs, you're going to have a hard time getting somebody to woman. employ you. She got the gift of gab. She could talk. She'd go out and get a job today if she wanted one. Not well, she got job. one, right? I mean, you... Yeah. you she you, says she's got one. You she's got this job you know, three right? months now. You know now. I got one. She says she's got one, but she's supposed to start it two weeks ago, and yeah, because something they, they, happens, she don't start. I don't know if she's going to do the background process. You know this. You've seen the emails. They had to wait. They had to, they had to review the background, and then they decided to approve it or deny it, and they approved it. And I start on the 14th. It should have took eight months to get a job, is what Just, I'm saying. There was always negative. I got you. Always. I see what's happening here. I'm going to tell you what I think is happening here, and then we're going to talk about the money. Here's what happened. You two love each other. You went through hell and back together, and you can't forgive her at all. And so you're so mad about what you've been through, but you're unable to leave her, so you beat her up while she's there. You, what you used to do, what you used to do, and she did a lot. Ain't no lie. She did a lot. <laughs> but either... I always tell people, if you decide to keep somebody who has messed up in the past, either forgive them and keep them and love them, or get rid of them. But don't keep them and abuse them. Because it's not good for you and it's not good for her. All it is is guaranteed misery. You've got to let go of what she used to do in order for her to be a pleasure to you. Right. You know what I mean? Now you look at her and you see burden and you're mad, and then that anger turns into derision and, 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 and mistrust and keeping her on a short lease, which in turn makes her a little crazy and makes her flee when it's too much for her. Then you have another thing to put in your arsenal of anger, right. and then you start shooting those guns at her again. See what I'm saying? Yeah, how do we fix it? Who gives in first? How do we do this? You do. All right, what, what, what do you suggest? What do I do? We need counseling. I've agreed to that. Yeah, we need some help. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I'll pay for it. I'll Thank pay you. for some counseling. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. I have a limited amount uh, that I can do, but I like you people. As crazy as you are, <laughs> <laughs> as jacked up as things have been, I got some money to pay for some counseling, and I'm going to give because I know you're not leaving one another. <laughs> but you have got to... The problem isn't just her. The problem is your response to her. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes. And the only person you can fix is you. Right. Yeah. So you have to be in a place where you can live with who she is, what she's been, and not beat her up about it every day. Now, the minute he comes correct, the minute he gets it right, you reward him. Well, obviously, the house is already clean. Oh, it's so already great. good, right? Keeps the best out. Keep, keep, keeps the best. Remember that every day. Remember I do. that She's every day. Yeah. But reward him with the ability to know where you are. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes. If you get frustrated and feel like you wanna 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 leave, wanna just fly off, tell him first. Dude. You've been on me. Yeah. And I'm feeling caught up and tied up and and tore up. Please get off me so I can stay. 
give him an opportunity to take his foot off the pedal. Because he done had his foot on that pedal for a minute. <laughs> and he's gotten used to it. So it's, it's like that. So he's going to fall back into that on occasion. Because you just like, you know, when you relapse on drugs, yeah. you know, you fall back on occasion. And he will. But you got to meet his effort with a willingness to warn if he's, he's fallen short. You with me on that one? He's got to be able to predict where you're going to be. Being unable to predict things gives human beings fits. We cannot deal with uncertainty at all. I know. Just not at all. Do you understand what I'm telling you? I do. do you understand what I'm telling yes, you? Yes, ma'am, I do. Are we going to go to counseling oh, that yeah, I'm paying I'm for? So, yes, yes, yes. I, I, so I got 13 And we're I going to decide that everybody's going to change themselves and not the other person? Yeah. And we're going we're gonna to get this right? Oh, yeah. We're going to get I it good? To. I'm running out of time, I feel, man. Health and age, I'm ready to get it right or get I'm, on down the road. I'm telling you, well, 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 good enough for you, so I'm not going to award that $500. I'm going to use my money to get you together. You together? Yeah. All right. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is. Thank so you. Weird. I feel relieved. Just, I feel like there's hope. Mm -hmm. I just want him to be able to trust me and just... You know, just, I just want to just be happy together, but no, just bringing up the past every five minutes, every day. I think it went down good. I mean, uh, some other people know what we're going through, what I'm going through, and uh, I think counseling's going to be good because we'll have a mediator, and they can hear her side and my side and mm -hmm. help us figure out who's right and who's wrong. Judge, today's case is the thin line between love and hate. A nine-year marriage, seven-year separation, two children he hasn't seen in seven years. This is today's countdown to crazy. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today in the case of Rafisha Watts versus DeMartez Witsit. The two of you have been married for nine years, but separated for the last seven. As you can see, Nikki is not here because he has not seen her in those seven years. So we're going to ask Mr. Witset to step out here. Mm. Mr. Witset, how are you, sir? I'm doing pretty good. I'm gonna hand you something because I understand that not only have you not seen your wife in seven years, you have also not seen your children in seven years. So I would like to give you a little retrospective of what you missed. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Your Honor, I cannot leave today without my divorce from this man. I hear you. I, I, I need you. it today. All right, she made me leave. Hey, 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 finish looking at your children. Okay. All right. Yeah, focus on your children that you left me with, that I had to take care of. You left seven me years you by myself. Me. How old are your kids? You abandoned me. How old are your kids? Answer that. How but, old are Mr. your Wayne kids? Mr. Wayne said, what are your children's ages? 13 years old. She abandoned me. Your Honor, yeah. she abandoned me. She made me sleep in the car. She the twins are 13, is that right? She no, ma'am. She would open the door. She would let me sleep in the car. That's I a lie. Back. Okay, we're going to get, we're gonna get yeah. to that. Yeah. I just want to find out how old your children are. Wouldn't you but like how old your children are? They're 13 Stop. years old. Stop. But she took them away from me. Stop. How old are your children? 11. They're 11. Our twins well, are 11 I, years old. Well, 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 how am I going to do that? She took them away from me. She abandoned me. I, I tried to go find the kids, looking for yeah, the kids. Please, please, I, please. She please, didn't gave me wrong numbers. I lost contact with him. It's with I my fault. I had to follow my Facebook through his was... family. Let's take it in. And let's hey, 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 hey. I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me when this thing started to go off the rails? Your Honor, let me tell you. Again, I've been looking for this sorry man for seven long You're years. Count him. One, two, Stop. three, four, five, six, seven. This man has been gone. I done raised these kids by myself. 
Your Honor, this man does not provide. He doesn't clean up the house. He's a drunk. Oh, he will be passed out drunk That's on a, the floor. That's Mr. Whitsitt, when she went... Were you... When you were t together for the two years... Mr. Gibbs, okay. Listen, listen. Was she the primary breadwinner? She, she provided, but she, she went out all that. Because... Went out all that? No, she... I paid the light bills. I paid the rent. I paid the car note. with you. Because one thing about it, I provided too. When she got some money, what? she turned her back on me. You know, she threw my clothes out on the interstate. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about who was paying the bills. The we nurse. both was. We both was. No, she was, was paying too. the majority. I was working at Armstrong. I was working, and I, I was paying the bills too. You were paying the bills as well. I wasn't just no dead bitch. She tried to make me like that. She Your was Honor, if, I came home about, from work. If he was paying something, I came talking. home from work. She had another man in my house after I got off work from the BP That's office. She said it was her cousin. I said, "This is not your cousin." That's a lie. Mr. Whitson. Mr. Whitson. Mm. You gonna have to stop cursing okay, in here. Okay, well, I'm gonna stop cursing. But Put, no, 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 no. But got my Put that finger rubbing. down. Okay. Pull yourself together. I'm trying to pull it together, but she doesn't allow me. They, pull yourself together. She was a good woman. Pull okay. yourself together. You'll know when it's time to say something, because I look at you, call your name, and ask you a question. <laughs> My understanding is that one of his great complaints is that when your mother died, you got some money and you wouldn't give him any. No. Can you tell me about that? Your, your honor. Did I look at you and okay. call your name? Okay, just tell me. <laughs> you know, the, th the really trippy part about being in court and talking to a judge is if you can't follow directions and you don't have control over yourself, we tend not to believe you because we think you're foolish. No, she know. That's why no, I can't no, 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 no. I'm talking to you. You a grown man or not? Yeah, I'm a grown man. Act like one. Okay. Mm. Your, your Honor, I have raised these kids. I became a nurse. I provide for my kids. I make sure their education is on point. I even have an older daughter that's in college. This man has not given me a dime in providing is for these you? kids. Look that's back at my picture. My, look at my graduation that's picture. That's not, I'm looking I went to school by myself true. with those kids. That's not true. And I became a nurse. That's you didn't do anything to help me. That's not true. You didn't do anything to okay. help me. Your Honor, may I, may I continue? I want you to respond to that. Did you do anything did you do to anything? Did. your family? I did. I did. I did. At That's a lie. Like Tell said, me what it is. Hold on, you did your part. Let me do my part. Stop. Okay. The woman did me so very wrong. I came back. I was standing in Mobile, Alabama. I went back to Florida. I kept going back for trying to make my relationship work with this woman. On the God truth. The woman dogged me out. She was all for herself. She was real the jealous. She was real. Hold Tell, on. Give me a story. You, I, you're telling me conclusions. Okay. I'll give you one story then. I come back to go back to try to work things out with my kids. She locked the door. It was cold. When they opened the door, went let me in the house and looked out the window and started laughing. Ah, ha. And I had to sleep in my car cold. So you tell me that's a good wife? Okay. Ms. Watts, do you recall I don't be that? Crazy. Can, I, can I please respond to can, that? Please. Judge. Judge, the reason why I left this sorry man outside was because... Yes, let's get back. Okay. Let's get back to my mother's policy mother. Money. That money was for me. Not for him. My mother passed what, away. So I used... My money right I used you? that Mr. money. Okay. What's it? What about my money? I don't no, think I'm a good money. My you money. have no self control okay. at all. You need to pull yourself together. Oh, okay. Again, Your Honor. Go ahead. When my mother passed away, the money was for her kids, the ones that she needed to be beneficiary. I didn't have no reason to give him a dime. But since I was trying to be a nice wife, I gave him $400 so he can pay his speeding ticket so he can get his driving license to get, a, to get a job, Your Honor. You know what he... Mr. Okay, Whitson. Okay. You know what he did with the $400, Your Honor, when I do? came home? He had on a new pair of Jordans and a PlayStation. That's what he had with the $400. That's why I can't give him Mr. no Whitson, money. Mr. Whitson, do you remember getting That's why I can't give you no oh. money. Stop. Miss, she bird fed me like a bird. You know, give him a little bit of him. But did bit you do that with the $400? I did. I'll be honest, I did. I did. I did. Don't you think that's irresponsible? That's a reason not to give you money? You got a drinking problem, Mr. Whitsitt. I do a little drinking here and now. Here and now. Yeah. She made yeah, me drink. Nah. She made every me drink. Day. Every home. day. You know, every day. made me drink. Do you drink every day? Not every day. When Mo I, well, I drunk most every day. days. Just most days. I most gotta, days, yeah. This family.
family was on my income. Right. So I cooked a, a pot of spaghetti that lasts us through the week. This drunk fool came and ate the whole pile of spaghetti, <laughs> throw it up on the floor. I, like I had to that. clean it up. Me and the kids didn't have nothing to eat. So therefore, I did have to ask another man for some money. Yes, I did. Because well, I needed the pampers, I needed some light bill money, and I needed to take care of my well, children. What because he didn't provide. Then? What he didn't provide. Mr. Winston, Mr. Winston, let me ask you this. She has my house. I am... My house, I was paying for Ms. it. Ms. Ms. Watts, Mr. Mr. Whitson, Mr. Whitson. Go ahead. <laughs> they got a business in my house. I don't care where you get your money. Mr. Whitsitt. Huh? Go ahead. Do you remember eating the spaghetti? Yeah, I eat the spaghetti. I like to eat. I, everybody know I like, my whole family know I like to eat. I ain't gonna lie Everybody that. likes to eat. Do you eat before your children eat? Do you... I feed the children first, then I eat. But that's not what happened, though, is it? Well, not you were drunk and you ate it all. Not that time. I got home. Let me ask you this. I'm home, man. You got a drinking problem, Mr. Whitsitt? I do a little drinking here and now. Here and now. Yeah. She made me drink. Nine. She made every me drink. Day. Every Hull. day. You know, Baby Hull made me drink. Do you drink every day? Not every day. When Mo I was I drunk Most every day. days. Just most days. I most gotta, days, yeah. yeah I know. Okay, Anybody I else ever suggested that you were less than responsible as a function of your drinking? Well, I can say that. But, you know, but I yeah. like to drink a little bit. If a whole lot of folk telling you the same thing, it's good to investigate that thing and not just pick one person out and say they're the problem. She's right too. She's right too. She's right. I, but she didn't leave a kid. She, she did. Right. She's right too. Now I'm gonna tell you this, him. I'm gonna tell you this, What now? This woman, I love this woman. Yeah. I told her I came back from Mobile. You don't love Listen, me. You don't take care of your children. Stop. Stop. I'm gonna say something. I tried to work it out. I came back from Mobile. I said I'm gonna go back one more time because I do love my family and my kids. Lord knows. I said I want her back. And I went back there. Boom. I goes up to the store, round to the store, whatever, and go buy me some. I come back, she had an alcohol. Will you buy Hold liquor? On. No, I won't buy liquor. I want to buy a pack of cigarettes. Then he didn't take her. I need them. I had bad nerves dealing with her. I needed some cigarettes. So I come back. I said, you know what? Fifi, I want us to be back together. So she got mad now. You been with another woman? Now nah, y'all, they do. You been with another woman? I said, I've been with a woman 10 minutes. I said, well, I'm going to the store. So she said, no, nah, pack your stuff. You're going back to Mobile. That's the way she do me. I ain't have to pack them. She'll pack them for me. Pick them up. Them all. Right. But listen, to me. she said, I'm gonna take you home. I said, I, I call the bus station, you know, get home. She said, no, I'm gonna take you home. While we go on interstate, she opened the van door and went to throwing my stuff all over the interstate. That's a lie, Your Honor. Did you yeah. throw his clothes all, all over the interstate? And she I bleached didn't my clothes. I put him out, Your Honor. I yes, did. did. But let me tell you she why did. I put him out, because I was at tell my wits' end. Tell your story, now tell the truth, girl. Stop! Okay. <laughs> I was at my wits' end. We didn't try a marriage counselor. He didn't accuse me of sleeping with the pastor. If I get yeah. too dressed up, he snatched my neck. What's the pastor doing outside? He rubbed me like this. Come on, dog, pray in you. You ain't got to pray down now. Hey, we couldn't even pray. We couldn't even pray with the pastor. He praying. He Your don't pray. Pray. He praying down now. Touch her. She ain't saying that. Your Honor. So I ain't taking her back to that church no stop. more. Stop. Good. Not on top of that, he, he, he even had family no, members no, no, no. when we would go to a cookout. Yeah. His family members would feel on me and touch on me, and I would say, DeMarches, be a husband and stand up. Tell these family members stop touching me. He would be so drunk, he would just brush me off. I would sit in the car the whole time doing family outings. And, I, and you supposed to come up and protect me as a husband, I would and you, you didn't. How much money do you think you owe, Mr. Mr. Whitson? We can get it. Let me, we go home and talk about that. No, no, I'm, I'm, talk about I'm it not going home with you. This no, is no, I want to talk about it now. How much do you think you owe? I know he don't care. I do because care. Because he always say, how the kids doing? He never send no money, no clothes, no I'm not books, nothing. Stop. His not kids are so she advanced. Ran on me. Stop it! His kids are reading on three grades higher. His daughter is an is a artist. They've given her a scholarship. At 11 years old, she already has a college scholarship because of me, because of mama. Because of mama. Uh, if I would have abandoned my family like he did, uh, they would have been in, in, a, in a foster home. He, he accused me of being fat or being ugly. Do I look ugly? Do I look fat? No, no. no. Mr. Whitsit, no, Mr. Whitsit, Mr. Whitsit. Now, you sure Mr. Whitsit, Mr. Whitsit, you and I are gonna pretend like you're an adult for about five okay. minutes. No. So let's see if we can pull this off. Okay. 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 I'm, I'm I need done. that divorce today. You decided to leave at some but point. I want to take a back. You can work it out. Mr. Whitsit, you decided to leave at some point. Yeah, I did. Yeah. But I do miss my wife. <laughs> well, you said whatever we call her, we know. We gotta go. Well, we didn't get far with the adult thing, did right. we? Okay. Come on, we'll listen. Not far at all. When you left. Did you make any provisions 
to see your kids or to financially support your children? I didn't know where she was. She, I know I lost contact. Know where she was. She know where I live at. She knew where I live in Mobile. She, she can find me in Happy Hill where I always be. She know where I was. She never looked for me. Well, you left her house, right? Yeah, I got tired of being in the So you knew where she was? Right there, no, the place moved. you just left? Well, the place I just left, she had moved. She told me she was moving. And I, and I had more contact with her. And I was, look, I was looking for her, but I didn't run behind nobody that don't want to be with me. You know, I tried, my, I tried working it out. We, wouldn't you run behind your children, though? I ran, I tried it. Every time I ran out behind them, I was in state of trouble. You know, it's costing real What trouble. did you do in I, order to stay in contact? Because I got okay. to tell you, somebody had, my husband had my kids. Okay. I would be hell in high water okay. to get that child. Okay. Hold on. Hell in high water. I'm going to tell you them. I want to be my kids, but every time I went back, we were still married, and she was seeing other guys. So how so would you do all that? She, so she, she wouldn't let me see him. We had to eat. She wouldn't let me see him. And I said, I'm going to come to my kids. Did you go to court? Huh? We did tried, you go to we court? No, no. He was in jail. No. Yo. I was in jail. Did you time. go to court no, I was in jail. and file for visitation? You were in jail all these all years? Yes, ma'am. So, I was in jail. Back and yeah. forth. Back and forth in jail. I stayed in trouble when I was young. Well, you know, when you're young. And you, you want me to stay married to that? That's yeah. what you wanted me to stay married to that? You I'm a new person now. I'm a new person now. I changed my life. New Just person now. When are you going to start paying child support? Amen. I start, I start paying when she wants me to. I start paying what you want me to. And no, I love my wife, and I like to work it out with my wife, you know, but we can, but not. I need it's okay my divorce today. Sign the papers today. Sign the papers today I, I on sign, the dotted line. I'll tell you what, I, on the okay. dotted line. I'll sign. Sign today. I'll sign. sign today. Okay. On the dotted line. All right, if I sign, we go home with me tonight. So. Yeah. <laughs> now, Mr. Uh, Wilson, okay, don't okay, nobody okay, want okay. you. Okay, mom. Say it again. <laughs> no, 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 woman to woman. Nobody yeah, wants this. Yeah. I made a mistake. Come on now. How much money do you think you owe her, Mr. Mr. Whitsitt? Mm, that part. Moolah. How much Moolah. do you think well, you owe her? Well, we can get it. Let, we go home when? and talk about that. No, 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 no. I'm not going home with you. This no. is over. We, 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 what, we, we, I want to talk about it now. How much do you think you owe her? How much I owe you, babe? Your Honor, <laughs> I am not this man's baby. Before you? I leave Mr. today, Whitsitt, I need I'm my asking divorce. you, as, uh, as a grown man, as an adult, mm -hmm. as, a, as a, a man with a conscience and a heart, and some dignity. Now, I'm making all this stuff up. I hope you can just sign on for some of it. Mm. What do you think you owe her? So you don't have to walk okay. out here with your head low. I say what? About 50, 60,000? 50 or 60,000? Yeah. Now, we're gonna break that at 20. I was wrong about that. Break that back down. <laughs> break that back down. I'm tripping. Break that back down to 20. He stipulated that he owes yeah. you 50000 It's way beyond my jurisdiction, but I am going to give you something. I, but I I'm never gonna... got a quarter, a penny, or a nickel or a dime. Oh, we're going to get started. The most important thing that I'm going to get for you today is his name and address. And so you can start getting that back child support. And you tag no, him I got this. I got this, for every little bit of back child support that you can. And what he's going to do today is he's going to take a little piece of that 50000 he says is owes you, gives it to you so you can get an attorney to assist you in getting all of that back child support. Let me say something to you. Yes, ma'am. You are a beautiful woman. You. you are strong. You are intelligent. Your taste in men is a little off. I was young and dumb. I'm, I'm just going to say, it's the only, only negative thing I got to say went for you. When we were hey, doing hey, it? hey, hey, hey! Oh, okay. <laughs> you took care of your children. You didn't descend into anger and to ugliness. What you did is you put it all into effort and into tomorrow, and you became a nurse, and your children are following in your footsteps by getting a higher education. You see to your children's education. They, they read three grade levels above where they should be. You are definitionally a bad chick, and don't you ever forget. <laughs> definitionally. And don't ever let any sorry, raggedy piece of a man confuse you again. Ever, hey. ever, ever, hey, Mr. Whitson. Yes. Mm. You're tired and you're trifling. How could you have the seed of your body on this earth and do nothing to care for them? Yep. I do. I don't see, no. You've done nothing for them. You weren't there. You didn't pay for anything. You didn't see about them. You didn't even look hard at them she pictures. Ran off on me. There was not a. I don't care. 
She, she, ran. Guy. she ran with she another ran. guy. She ran with another guy. I don't care if she slept with the entire football team. She got another baby, too. It's got she nothing got baby to too. do she got with your baby too. obligation to your children. But she got another baby, too. It doesn't matter. If she has 20 children with 20 other guys, but still it doesn't though. change still your obligation. Still $5,000 in yeah, favor of Ms. Wallace. Do you think Judge Lynn got through to him? Nothing can get through him. <laughs> I mean, we can pray and hope he will pay his child support, but I don't think he's going to do anything. He hasn't done anything in this long. He's not going to do anything now. He's selfish. Back then, I, I was, I, I went thinking, you know, I was younger and I got older now. I changed my life and I'd like to have her back and hope she'd give me a second chance. I'm a, I got to keep on pounding and working. I'm, I'm, a proof, I'm, a, I'm a good man now. Judge, today's case is poured up. He has been partying, drinking, and going to jail for years. But now she says she's had enough. Let's see if that's true. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Leilani Jacobs and Clancy Jacobs. Mr. and Mrs. Jacobs, you have been together for 12 years, married for three years, and separated for the last five months. Mrs. Jacobs, you want Mr. Jacobs to give you $2,000 for money you laid out at your wedding. We will talk about that momentarily. But before we do, I'm going to ask you, Mrs. Jacobs, why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and how we got to divorce court here today? Okay, Judge, I'm here today to tell you about this man over here to the left, to the left. <laughs> um, yes, um, when he turns up, he do not know how to turn down as far as liquor and women. And we're going to start with the liquor first. Okay, let's start with the liquor. Okay, so I come, I was staying in Atlanta, and my brother had a party, so I go to his party, and I guess he see a lot of cars out there, so he pops up over there at the party. He trying to talk to one of my cousins. We wasn't even together. We wasn't even married at the time. Mm -hmm. So he trying to talk to my cousin, and... I tell my brother, why is he even here anyway? He's already drunk, so what is he doing here anyway? So I told him to put him out. He puts him out. You know, we partying. While the party's still going on, he pops again. I said, put him back out. Why is he steady coming? <laughs> so he put him out again. He was like, don't come back up in here. This is my sister, you know, whatever. Don't come back up in here. So the party over with. I go to my car. Gas is what I see laying on the steps. <laughs> drunk. Passed out, <laughs> Mr. Jacobs. <laughs> Don't make no sense. So, you know, I just can't deal with it no more. You want to hear about another one? Oh, please. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we go to a family member house, and it's a, it's a party for one of my family members. We having a good time. Another family member come in. They get into an argument over his drinking again. I turn around. They call me Luscious Bubble, <laughs> you know, for a nickname. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. And they're like, Luscious, your husband over there fighting. I tell him, oh, so not again. So I'm like, okay, like before, put him out. Okay, they say he got to go, and the other partner had to go too. So I call back, I'm like, you know what? Why do I got to go? He was the one that was fighting. Why do I got to go? Can I come back? They say, yeah, you can come Love back, me. but he can't. I'm going I'm to get to you. I'm going to uh -huh. get to you. We're going to get through this. Yes. It's my turn. Thank you. <laughs> so anyway, Judge, his drinking problem is a problem with me. I got you. Mr. Jacobs, do you have a drinking problem? I mean, I drank. Is it a problem? No. I mean, ask her how she got her foot broke. <laughs> ask her how she got her foot broke. How did you break your foot, Luscious Bubbles? Her drinking problem. Uh, first of all, <laughs> it's not broke. It was broke last year, and I think he might have did that. No. I don't know. I was turned up. <laughs> so, I don't know. I ain't turned down that time, but no, it's not broke. 
It's, I just had a well, whatever thing. happened to it, did it happen while you were under the influence? Oh, uh uh. No. Not this time, but yeah, last the last time. time, y'all. Oh, okay, oh, okay, oh. okay. So, Mr. Jacobs, you, so, you say you don't have a drinking problem, so what kind of problems do you have with her? Why does she say you have one? She live all the time. <laughs> like, she drank already. She ain't even had a drink today. Don't you see she act like she buzzed now? That's because this is me. Uh, you mad? One, can you imagine dealing you with mad. this 24-7? <laughs> it's a lot. A lot. Do it's it look lot. like I drink 24-7, Judge? Come on, girl. Look, look at this. <laughs> that's the one and only girl you get, OK? Um, <laughs> one and only. I'm going to let it slide because I like it. Oh, thank but that's it. <laughs> OK, Ms. Lynn. You say he has too many female friends for him not to be fooling around. Tell me why you believe that. Oh, no, it ain't that I believe it, I know it. See, I'm a spy. Mm -hmm. I'm a spy. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah. So, um, I listen to him, Judge. Now, listen, for real, you, I'm you got it. I'm listening. I'm, I'm listening. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm sorry. Ooh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, yep, yep, yep. No, but listen. <laughs> um, I listen to it, Judge, and I hate to even put myself out there like this, but I listened to it and I heard the lady say her address. I'm like, you know he married. I'm hearing all these conversations, listen to him. She know he married, whatever. So I write the address down. Mm-hmm. I go over her house. Uh-huh. Blocks away. Knock on the door. She ain't come. Knock on the door. She ain't come. So I went to my car, wrote a note, put it in the mailbox. What did Went the back say? Watch your back, because I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mr. Jacobs, do you know what we're what she's referring to? Yeah, I know what she's yeah, referring to. Yeah, I know you do. Were, were, were you out philandering when, when, no. when you got caught? No, 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 no. What was going on? No, no. Wasn't nothing going on. I was lying. Oh, stop. I was lying to her, bro, just having a conversation. Why? You married? You lying to her about what? I mean, she even heard one of the conversations. I tell her, bro, I'm, I'm outside. I'm pulling That's up. Like, don't call them broads. That's right. part of your problem Sorry. right there. She tell tell a woman, yeah. yeah. That I'm pulling up. I'm outside all along. I'm in my living room. I ain't going nowhere. Well, why would you tell her? Why is he talking to him in my house, though, in my living room while I'm in the bed? We was mad you, at each other. What you do? You were mad. So the we minute you're mad, mad you get all the phone. It's It's entertainment. It's entertaining. Yeah, we was mad with each other. She, you she, still married. You, you, you entertain the wrong woman, and, you, and you'll have a problem. And some women don't take rejection well. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, jumps out the bed to go over to his friend's house to probably take him to the store or something. Oh, yeah, he taking him to the store and himself, too. <laughs> because it's not funny. He takes himself to the store, too, because when he come back, he drunk. Are you going to the store at 8 o'clock tomorrow and get listen, some liquor? Listen, listen, uh, listen, tell the truth. She listen, asked you a question. Listen, I ain't drinking. Answer the question. About, do I drink in the mornings? Yeah, because I lay down at night. You drink in the morning at 8? Because I lay down at night. <laughs> she want me in the house before it get dark. Okay, That's how controlling she is. What? Just, Wait, hold on, hold on, hold <laughs> on. Wait, we... You get drunk in the morning. So I can lay down. So you can lay down at night. Yeah, so I don't have no problem. So I can be in the house. So you can be in the house, house. yeah. You know, by 6, 7 okay. o'clock. Now, by the time that you lay down, are you, are you, are you still drunk? Or are you, have you sobered up? First of all, I Do you drunk. stay drunk? He don't sober up. He turns up. Supposedly, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yo, I'm your husband. I'm in jail. I can't take care of you. Right. You're my wife. 300 of my ass for you. Do better or worse. But not with you, huh? I would have took the worst then. I drank a little bit. I get buzzed a little bit. Drunk, I don't get. But I do that to deal with that with over what's there. Going on, <laughs> what's going on over that's there? That's a hot mess right he there. He goes over his friend's house, <laughs> takes him to the store. Says he gonna come back. Judge, I didn't call this man four, five times. When you come home, I didn't cook lunch, dinner. They both <laughs> didn't got cold. I toss it in the garbage. Like, you know what? I'm, no. So, you come home drunk. Listen, she done called me them four times in one hour. Four times an hour. Oh, I've had women here. An and four times an hour, that's not too bad. I've had some people in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 60, 70 times an hour. <laughs> 
Don't understand why they don't pick up on the 67th time. I got you got all that. He goes. You up. say you took care of him when he was broke. Oh Lord, and have you mad right. about it? Tell me about that, Judge. I paid the rent, the bills, everything. Let me tell you, this man goes to jail. Matter of fact. We moved in our place September the 27th, 2016. Right. This man gets into it with a family member the same night and shoots a gun in the air. I could have got put out the same day I moved in. Boxes wasn't unpacked or anything, all because of his drinking. He got you into it. You drunk with a gun? Do you believe that? I mean, Look, the incident I don't happened. Know you. Look it the, up. I don't know the, yet. The incident happened. The incident did happen. Did you go to jail? Yeah, that night. They gave me a $10,000 PR bond the next day. I was out. I went down there 24 hours. Uh, ooh, okay. But you had to deal with it later? Yeah, yes. then, I, then I got some time behind. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> Judge, I it's know not what over. Bond is. I it's mean, not it, over. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so he goes to jail, gets out. Guess when, okay, he's fighting the case. Guess when he has to turn himself in? When? On Valentine's Day. <laughs> Aww. And five days before my birthday. Well, you can't take that personally. No, let me tell you. He goes to jail. By us just getting married, they gives him Huber, where he comes home. <laughs> oh, oh, oh <laughs> let me take... <laughs> it's not funny. Okay, that gives him Huber. Uh -huh. He comes home. Instead of him doing what he's supposed to do, look, 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 go back. Breath. <sighs> nope, can't get in. Oh, be let me tell you what happened before that. I was letting this man use my truck to take to the jail, leave it on grounds so I wouldn't have to pick him up, bring him back, pick him up, bring him back, pick him up. Okay, so I had put him on my insurance. So... He gets my, on my insurance, the jail approves it, he leaves to take the, come pick the car up, go back to the jail, leave it there, come back, doing this every day. Mm -hmm. Okay. He want to celebrate our one month anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> go, 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 go. Lost his privileges, had to stay in jail. All while he in jail, judge, I'm giving this man $300 a month, making sure he's calling me. I'm going up there to see him. It ain't nothing but up the street on mm -hmm. the south side. I'm on, but I'm he 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 making me come to see him, making me do videos. Who in the house? I'm showing him the whole house. <laughs> this nobody, just me. You know, I mean, um, you, I, I'm the, I did everything. Did Pay for the wedding. I did, did it all. Did this man has it. What? I'm supposed to, I mean, yo, I'm your husband. I'm in jail. I can't take care of you. Right. You're my wife. 300 of my ass for you. Do better or worse. But not with you, huh? I would have took the worst then. That <laughs> well, no, nah, but you, 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 you held it down. That's all right. You yeah, married that. Man, you did that. Judge, it's me by myself struggling, making it happen. He know I don't have it like that. Why you making me do all this, give you money, doing, you know, I'm constantly paying the insurance, the rent, the bills, and all this by myself. You, my husband, I ain't supposed to be taking care of you. You supposed to be taking care of me. So if he shows up at your door tomorrow, you gonna take him back? I got a camera on my door, I'm be like, get away from my door! <laughs>I refused to leave the house. Because I got tired jail. of the cheating. They took me to jail. Tired of the lying. Did you call the police on uh -huh, him? Uh-huh, sure. And lie to the police about yeah, what Yeah, I bet did? probably put a hickey on my chest to say he did that. <laughs> so did. Because I got, I was tired. And I took a lot.
I so been if he shows up that. at your door tomorrow, you gonna take him back? I got a camera on my door. I'll be, I'll be like, get away from my door! <laughs> 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 I'm gonna make it go off on my own. Get away! Beware this... of dog! <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about the $2,000 you want from Mr. Jacobs. $2,000. Judge, you know what? It's really more than $2,000. Will you tell me what, what we're talking about here? I pay for the wedding. I pay for a brand new dress from David and Bridal. Mm -hmm. I pay for his suit. Mm -hmm. His shoes. <laughs> <laughs> his tie. What other shoe at? Give me the shoes. Now, now, tell me what you paid for. I Mrs. paid Jacob. for the wedding, his shoes, the reception. Did you pay for the venue? Where, where... I paid for everything. I paid for my, my mom married us the second time in our church. And I couldn't even get this man to go back to the doggone church we was married in. Mr. Jacobs, did all that occur? Not all. Did she pay for everything? What you yeah, pay for? She, she paid for everything. You couldn't even pay for a nail. She, she, she paid for everything. <laughs> <laughs> she paid for everything. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh did but I pay what all the rent and the bills and everything, too? Yeah, you didn't want me to work. So what you owe me you, about 10,000 then? She was trying to limit you. She didn't want you to work. Why didn't she want oh you to work? She was trying to limit you where I had to work at. No, 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 she no, no, She didn't want no, me to no, work no. with no women. I had to, she wanted me in a factory. I don't do factories. You can't do nothing. Judge, <laughs> I got him a job working with my fam one of my family members. Just, you know what, something he loved doing, driving. He was driving these people to their dialysis class. Right. You know, and all uh -huh. that. Right, right. Why he drop one on one, guess where he go? <laughs> <laughs> Went back. Oh, we smell liquor on That's your a breath. That is. Somebody happen. get fired. That's why I got fired. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. First of all, that was on my day off. <laughs> and I knew you got fired on my day off. Jack Friday is one of my favorite movies. I didn't say Now, Judge, <laughs> it wasn't a day off because his boss called me. Look, where's well, your husband around? I said, ma'am, ain't he at work? No, oh, we um, looking, we looking for Mr. Jacob. He has to pick up his um patient. Right, right. I know. I goes over there. One spot. You knew it in there. Yep. Yeah, I'm like, you know what? You not no good. You not no good. You not no good. Cause you know this man at work. And, and y'all got him over here drink. drinking. We ain't got him doing nothing. That's he right. grown. He right. could do what I'm he want to do. I'm definitely grown. Them not your mm -hmm. friends. Right, right. And you right. lose your job. Did you drink? I, don't, I don't remember that accident. Oh, that's because you was. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it. Mr. and Mrs. Jacobs, you made my day. You did indeed. I enjoyed every minute of it. Now, Mrs. Jacobs, you can't pay for a wedding and then when the marriage goes bad, ask for the money back. You paid for the wedding because you had the event. He showed up. He came. He said, I do. He did his part. Now, what happens after that is on the two of you. But you certainly can't get the money back just because the marriage went south. Can I, can I ask you something? What First about, of all, I don't know. She, I don't know. She, wouldn't, she wouldn't wait. She didn't want to wait to have this wedding. See, we got married not even a whole, about two, three weeks, the wedding, the ceremony, uh -huh. two, three weeks after I got out of jail. See, I tried to get her to wait. She don't want to wait. Just, no, they don't. He no, asked okay, but I'm going to marry me before he asked me to marry him. Yeah, women don't want to wait. You know Are what you I mean? serious? Ain't that what I mean? <laughs> Did you ask my brother to marry? Can you yeah, marry but, me? But, but, but you're grown, Mr. Jacobs. You walked down that aisle all by yourself. I was, you know we was I'm already saying? married. Yeah, yeah. We was already I married. I got it. He just it. wanted the ceremony. That was, yes, that's We was what already do. married. Women, women want the ceremony. Exactly. And you paid for it. You got it. And now we're done. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. How we feeling? Good. I just wish that she would have understood where I was coming from a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Just for the simple fact that 
He cheated and he ruined our marriage. Mm -hmm. It's over, I'm happy. Yeah. I mean, maybe we'll go out and have a drink, me and her. Maybe, you guys think you can stay friends? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I married her, I loved her. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, the love always gonna be there. All right, well, wish you the best.